Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. My guest today is Dennis Maslenikov. Welcome Hi. back, Dennis. Hi. I brought Dennis back here today to talk a little bit about some of uh, some new, innovative, creative, uh, malicious things he's seeing around SMS-related uh, malware. Um, specifically, uh, can you st start off by explaining how uh, scams are tied to SMS messages in a very general sense, how, how it's done. And then we'll talk a little bit about what you're seeing now. Well, there are several techniques mm -hmm. uh, used by cyber criminals in order to um, ask, let's say, for right, money right, from right. the users. And well, one of the uh, most popular ways was uh, um, mass uh, spam mess SMS spam messages saying that for example, uh, you want a great price, please send an SMS message right. with the following text to the following premium rate number. Right, and by premium rate number you mean, when, I'm, when I, if my, you have to explain this for some people in some other parts of the world that don't use premium rate numbers, yeah. is my uh, cell phone sends a text message to a certain number and I'm charged a premium rate based on sending it yes. to that specific number. Five, seven, ten dollars per, per one message. message. Yes. And that's a big deal in parts of Eastern Europe and Russia. Yes, Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. uh, these countries are like most, uh, users from these countries are mostly targeted by right, such right, type right. of fraud. But uh, another type of the fraud is, uh, it's, it is also connected with the SMS, but uh, it is connected with these uh, with the replenishing uh, simple cell phone numbers. Right. Uh, so prepaid. Yes, prepaid right. numbers. For example, um, a person receives a message with the text, uh, Hey mom, I'm in a big, big trouble. Please replenish the following cell phone number for $20, for example. Right, right, right. So uh, cyber criminals make a massive uh, spam attack, spam, uh, massive spam right. message sending, and uh, well, probably some moms or some mothers mm -hmm. will receive the following message and probably they will be, let's right. say, uh, fooled by this message right. and will uh, re replenish the cell phone number. How widespread is it? Is it uh, are we seeing a lot of it or is this just... Uh, yes, this, uh, this type of fraud is very popular in Russia, for example, and uh, there were examples which uh, can describe, for example, in March after the Moscow underground bombing, uh, mm -hmm. after the Moscow terrorist attack, uh, after some time um, we started to register and to see um, complaints about that people started to receive mm -hmm. the messages with the text, hey mom, I'm an underground, please uh, right, right. replenish this phone number, or after the um, bombing in Domodedov airport in Moscow, there were also like messages, mom, I'm in the airport, right. please replenish the following number. With so the a lot of the same techniques that we see being used around social engineering lures on, 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 on the yes, computer side, you're starting to see that replicated on, on mobile yes. devices. Uh, popular trending topics are, let's say, they are Unfortunately, they are really mm -hmm. popular among cyber criminals, but that's n not the end of the story. So, um, if somebody was fooled and uh, somebody replenished mm -hmm. the cyber criminal cell phone number for twenty dollars, it's not the end of the story because cyber criminals they can loan their money from the cell phone number, so they can make uh, this replenished money. Uh, they can transfer it from the cell phone number to the let's say bank account. Right, right, right. It is possible. Right. It, uh, have you seen any sort of? Uh, uh additional uh, parts of this SMS uh, money stealing. Replenishing uh, numbers stealing. Uh, okay. Ecosystem where they're using like money mules and some additional people to move money around. Yes. Explain how that works. Well, uh, SMS fraud is not the only way for cyber criminals mm -hmm. to uh, force people to replenish the cell phone numbers. They, they also can use SMS Trojans which are sending special uh, text messages to the uh, free premium, right, uh, right. to the free short numbers. But uh, these messages uh, will transfer money from the victim's uh, infected phone to the cyber criminal's right, right. phone. And the one more type of, um, let's say, money replenishing is uh, ransomware. It's one of the popular ways. For example, your computer is blocked and you see a message on the screen saying that if you want to uh, deblock uh, your computer, you should uh, replenish this cell phone number with, uh, let's right. say, for $20. Right, so the ransomware is attacking users on the desktop, yes. on actual computers, but the money that's being 
user is asked to go to the special the terminal. The ransom that's being asked is tied to, again, uh, to SMS the replenishing. So users should go to the terminal, to the bank, or somewhere else, and to mm -hmm. replenish the cell phone number uh, for $20, for example, for $30. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there is a final part of the scheme. Uh, there are uh, a lot of advertisements on the web, on the hackers' forums, saying that, um, well, uh, I'm a money mule or I'm, or I'm a money launderer. You, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I can launder for you money from the cell phone number. I will take commission for, right. for, for about 30%, you will receive 70%. Mm -hmm. Such messages are really popular right now, so there are some money mules which can launder money from the cell phones. Right. A lot of this, like you said earlier, is tied to Russia and some parts of Eastern yes. Europe. Do you expect to see you know, a lot of this moving to other parts of the world where prepaid, uh, prepaid is a big deal or where uh, premium numbers, for instance, is also being used? Is, is it possible that this, these techniques can be you know, exported to other countries? It is countries? only possible and only, uh, only when uh, you can use, for example, premium rate numbers anonymously. So in Russia, right. in Ukraine, uh, it it's is very possible. very easy to do it here. Right. It's really, it's like two clicks and you can use premium rate number with the special text. And that's right, the end right. of the story. That's why we see a lot of such activities in our country. I want you to look at 2011. Give me your top two trend predictions around mobile uh, security issues. Not necessarily mobile malware, but security issues in general. You know, two things that you think we should all be looking out for. As we go Android into and vulnerabilities. Well, Android, Android, because Android as a platform that's yes, uh, because it's a growing platform. Uh, it, uh, it right and the openness and, and everything yes, everything that's everything with says it. that uh, we will see more malware in 2011 for Android. And the second point is uh, our vulnerabilities because um, for cyber criminals it can it can really become one of the most popular ways to uh, to spread malware, to mm -hmm. uh, infect as many smartphones or cell phones as they can. Because, um, for example, this autumn or this winter we saw a lot of new vulnerabilities for Android, some vulnerabilities were discovered for iPhone. Fortunately, they weren't uh, used by cyber criminals. Right, right. But it doesn't mean that in the future they won't pay attention to such things. Interesting. Thank you very much, Dennis. Thank you. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab.